King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, I buy King Carter, King Carter. So, I heard you want to take down some of the best strikers in the UFC. Well, you've come to the right video. Now, what you're going to need is striking defense. In order to stay in a fight against a striker, you want to be able to learn how to block. You're also going to need striking offense because at any given time, you want to lay down a hammer. Now, clinching is definitely something that will slow down the fight and take away from the striker's offense. Now, you're definitely going to want to take the fight to the ground because if you keep standing up, it's going to be over. And you definitely want to learn some transitions. So, let's hop into it. Now, first thing you guys want to know is keep your distance against these strikers. If you're going up against guys like John Bones Jones, Anderson Silva, Daniel Cormier, Dan Henderson, you want to keep your distance. Now, if you don't like keeping your distance, make sure that you use your striking defense by blocking. Press R2 and use R2 with icon buttons in order to parry shots. If you don't do this, you will go down. Trust me, and it will be very, very fast. Now, in the next clip, I immediately take the fight to the ground. After four and a half minutes still left on the clock, I immediately know that taking it to the ground will slow down the fight, and it will be in my advantage to use my ground offense to keep a striker away from my face. <laughs> now, on the ground fighting controls, you want to use advanced transitions. So use L1 plus the right stick by making left or right hooks in order to take the best position for either a knockout or a submission. You really want to have great ground offense if you want to win against a striker. Now let's talk about clinching for a moment. Clinching, just like taking a fight to the ground, also slows the fight down. If you have great transition game, you are able to take the fight in the clinch or ground and basically stall the fighter. Now, if you have a couple good six skills, you actually will take stamina away from a fighter as you use your transitions and block him from his. So you definitely want to come into a fight against a striker with a strategy of slowing the fight down and picking your shots well. Now, this uppercut was a great time in this fight because basically I used my defense, picked my shots, and he basically couldn't do anything with me. Now, like I said about the clinch, see how I'm picking shots, picking his leg apart? You don't always have to headhunt against a striker. See how I'm using my clinch, and he immediately knows that with his transitions, he can take me to the ground. But I'm going to give you guys some controls that will keep that from happening to you. Now, like I said, advanced transitioning is very good as well as taking down a fighter in the clinch and taking him to the ground. If you do that before he does that to you, you will always be on the offensive and you won't have to worry about losing the fight. Now, on the ground, I have great transitioning. I'm getting the fighter out of his element, not letting him get any big shots in, and I actually turn the tables on this fighter. I actually beat his face in real fast as he goes into the full guard, and with my transition game and my timing, I'm able to make the fight mine. If you can make the fight yours against a striker on the ground or in the clinch, you will inevitably win the fight. Now, you guys can see that his head damage is getting very well, so I'm just going to stand up here and hit him with a big shot to end the fight. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe for more. Peace. Yeah, this is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.